common effort, and too many people died for us to still be fighting this same fight. I know we can't put all of our hopes into the political process, but I know it's at least one less black body laying in the street. If we don't try to change who is in power, we're never going to have the ability to win on our own issues. And I believe that voting is that first step. And I truly believe that if voting wasn't so important, then they wouldn't try so hard to stop us from doing it. <laughs> so representative Lee, what can you do to address voter suppression sure. in the real South? Thank you very much. And you just laid out the story of everyone in our country who have been marginalized, who would vote for the progressive agenda, and who the, the right wing in this country want to suppress. Voter suppression is, is alive and well. So in Congress, of course, we're working on, we have legislation, H.R. 4, that would restore the Voting Rights Act because you know the Voting Rights Act was totally gutted. We also have uh, hearings that are being conducted around the country headed by Congresswoman Marsha Fudge to really build the record so that we can move forward with even stronger legislation. But aside from the legislative efforts to restore the Voting Rights Act, we have to work at the state and local level in terms of making sure that uh, these voter ID laws are not passed, making sure that we have, and, and we're into this next election cycle right now, monitors, lawyers, people watching the polls all the time. I personally want to ask the UN to come in. I've observed elections all over the world, and I think right now we need election observers from all over the world yeah. coming to right. monitor and to look at these tactics that you just mentioned so that maybe mm -hmm. if we put some sunshine on it, you know, at least we'll be able to cast our vote until we can get all of these laws changed. But I would say to you, and I say this all the time to, to especially young people and people of color, uh, be, believe me, your vote counts. When Donald Trump was elected, we're 